have a, a lady in our church who was, a, who was an escort. She was making $30,000 a month. Uh, God got a hold of her life, and now she takes women to strip clubs. They go in, they have a little pink basket, a bag, gift bag with a Bible, lotions, a letter from God, a love that letter great. from God. Isn't that beautiful? They go in and they sit down, and the managers of the strip clubs just cater to them. They love them being there. <laughs> and they'll sit down, and there's guys in the club, and you know, when the guys will say, you know, what are y'all here for? And they'll say, we're from the Rock Church. Now, I, I, when Jesus walked around, yeah. you know, everywhere he walked, he, he was doing many things, but one of the things he was doing was, was putting Satan on notice, because here's what happened. When Jesus would go up to a demon-possessed person, the demons knew it was him. That's right. Okay, and 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 so when, as he was walking, the Holy Spirit was saying, "Everyone, all you demons, back up." Okay, <laughs> so when these ladies go in, or when we as Christians walk into bars right. or wherever we go, we're putting Full Satan on notice because right. we're here. Right. And so these guys would say, "You know, where y'all from?" And they said, "We're from the Rock Church." And all of a sudden, now they consciously know what the demons already knew, <laughs> and and that and their head their, their heads will drop. And then some of them will say, "Yeah, we're from the Rock Church too." <laughs> It's like, so they're kind of getting a two for one, you know what I'm saying? It's not all the time, but, but they'll go in a strip club and they, and they have the bag, the gift bag, and they'll pray with the girls and they'll go to court with the girls or go to hospital when they try to kill themselves. Uh, this one judge in San Diego, he was sentencing a prostitute and, and he said, look, I'm going to give you five months. The, the, the prosecutor wants five years. When you get out, I'm going to advise you to get with those girls from that church. Mm. Because if you don't, you, 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 you're going to end up right back here, and I'm going to give you five years. Uh, we have a, um, a guy who takes 250 people. He organizes 250 people. They go to 47 convalescent homes every week. Isn't that beautiful? They had wow. 200 elderly people get saved in one year. That's Praise a lot of people. Wow. And they go in and they pray with these people. And they, they had hundreds of people loved. And <laughs> hundreds of people loved. Absolutely. Hundreds of people. And plus the people who went, their oh, lives yeah. were transformed. Oh, yeah. And so this, here's the thing. All, every church, every church, because the body of Christ is not handicapped. Mm -hmm. Body Christ is not, it's not sick, it's healthy, it's powerful, but we don't, it's like people, it's like Jesus said, uh, um, uh, God said to Moses, set my people free that they may worship me. We set people free to go to church, we put them back in bondage. It's exactly we what gotta, we got. We got to set them free. And so you, got, you, got all, you, got, you know what I'm saying? You got all these people, you got all these people in church right. with all this firepower, mm -hmm. the firepower that created the heavens and the earth, and we won't let them do anything. Right. We got to kick them out and get them, get them to do something. <laughs>